Colquitt County Packers have won their last 25 games, which includes last year's perfect season and Class 6A state championship. And this season, they weren't tested until the final two games of the regular season. And it's just one of the reasons they are our Fox 31 Sports Team of the Week. Tonight, the Packers are at home against North Paulding, and the 4C out of Region 4 6A has only won three games. But despite Colquitt being the better team, Touch Roast Pro says at the start of the playoffs, every team now has the same record. They're 0 0. We're 0 0 going into this five game stretch here that you want to play to win a title. And, uh, and I, I, don't, I don't think it's, you know, what you've done in the past has nothing to do with it. It has, you know, what you do in that three hour window. Colquitt County ready for their first playoff game against North Paulding. Packers get the offense rolling immediately. First drive, no score. Chase Paris hits Cal Pollard all the way down to the one yard line and that would set up Colquitt with a first and goal. And Nathan Powell, he would take the handoff and punch it in for a one yard touchdown. Packers take a 6 nothing lead as they uncharacteristically missed the PAT. North Paulding trying to get something going on their drive, but that won't help Landon Scott with the forced fumble. Jamaris Walker jumps on it. Packers get the ball back a few plays later. Chase Paris drops back, finds Ty Lee crossing in the field, and he stumbles into the end zone. Packers go for two, but they fail, and the defending state champs are still on top. Packers next possession. Chase Paris on the quarterback draw. He's not known as a runner, but shows off the speed here. Takes the ball down to the North Quality 20 yard line. But penalties will stall the drive, and that would lead to this field goal attempt being blocked. They keep it at 12 to nothing. But the Packers had a good night. They go on to win and advance to the second round 48 to nothing. That's 26 in a row. 